yo what up i shot this video once already but i didn't really like the camera angle and the lighting so i went to a spot that has a little bit uh better of both of those things so what i'm going to be talking about in this video is how to properly bulk and how to properly lose weight because most people are doing it wrong most people when they try to lose weight they go on huge calorie deficits now what is calories calorie is basically a unit of energy that your body burns and metabolizes you have a basal metabolic rate that's the amount of calories and amount of units of energy that your brain or I'm sorry not your brain but your body is going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis your brain does burn a lot of calories too it's a com very complex organ that requires a lot of energy so the average human males ba uh, basal metabolic rate is 2000 calories per day you need to find out your own basal metabolic rate how many calories your body burns on average per day there are many sources online to help you with this um, you can find calculators which can approximate based on your body weight height and these sorts of things these factors so what you want to do is after you find this basal metabolic rate in order to lose weight you want to be going 200 calories below your metabolic rate healthy food ideally and for gaining weight for bulking you want to go 200 calories above your basal metabolic rate now there's some leeway here you can go between you want to go at least 200 but you want to be between 200 and 500 if you're exceeding if you're either exceeding 500 on your calorie surplus then you'll be gaining too much fat with your muscle for uh for it to like you'll be less aesthetic of course you can cut that later but if you gain between 200 to 500 pounds of uh, calories of surplus in your diet then you will be able to gain muscle without that much fat so it'll be a good aesthetic look and if you go on a calorie deficit of 200 to 500 then um, you will slowly and steadily lose weight but if you go actually to my understanding if you do too many calories uh, in your deficit like if you do 1000 calories in your deficit then your body will actually enter into a starvation mode and it will not be losing fat as effectively as it would have otherwise so by by going through that suffering and pain of going of not researching properly with regards to how you should lose weight and you just jump right into a crazy ass diet where you're only eating leaves and these sorts of things you're actually being less effective than you would have been otherwise if you'd properly researched it and implemented it so what you want to do obviously is eat healthy food i would not recommend dirty bulking it's not good for your health and at the end of the day whether you're bulking or whether you're trying to lose weight what you want to do is you want to have a diet that you can maintain in the long run you want to at first have your specific diet suited to your particular weight goal and muscle goal these sorts of things your physical goals and then you want to adapt and evolve from that diet to a diet that you can maintain in the long run now i'm going to talk about what i do personally right what i do is i try to eat healthy i'm not perfect sometimes i eat a little bit of junk food here and there but i try not to and i'm getting better at eating healthier and healthier but yeah i still mess up here and there and i don't count my calories or macros i used to i used to be 130 pounds and i would be counting my calories and increasing my calories but then it was too much work so i stopped doing that what i did in order to bulk was i just increased the amount of food that i ate little by little like i would have a certain amount of meals that i ate per day like whatever i don't remember what it was two three meals per day and then on top of those meals i would eat a little bit extra a little bit of a snack i would eat another extra sandwich another two sandwiches in the future after that these sorts of things and you improve it slowly 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 you gain weight i don't have a lot of experience with losing weight i just know the science behind it um 
And the other thing I wanted to say was, I have to, I have to get my train of thought back. Give me one second here. Yeah, you want to be making a lifestyle change. You want to be doing it for the long run. You want to be eating healthy. Uh, saturated fat is okay. Unsaturated fat is okay. What you want to avoid in your diet is trans fat. You don't want to be having much of that at all. You want to be avoiding that at all costs. That's the worst type of nutrition for you. You don't want to be eating too much sugar. So what you can eat in your diet is pretty obvious, you know, like vegetables, proteins, um, what is it called? Dairy? <laughs> I can remember the word for a second. Dairy, nuts, no, no homo. Um, yeah, so you want to be eating those sorts of things and... I would not recommend getting the majority of your protein either from red meat or from tuna. Tuna, you sh the dietitians recommend you not to eat tuna more than twice per week due to the pollutants in the ocean. A lot of tuna is actually going to be bad for you. If you eat it too much, you'll have a lot of pollution in your body because of the pollution in the ocean. So don't eat tuna more than twice per week and don't eat red meat for the majority of your protein intake because red meat has been linked to developing cancers later in life. So you don't want to be eating red meat as your main source of protein. Just once in a while is okay. What I would recommend for protein would be things like chicken. I like to buy rotisserie chicken, so I don't even cook it. Um, sliced turkey. That's another thing I eat. Beans are good. Beans are uh, an excellent vegetable source of protein. Protein powders are good too. I, I like to take, this isn't a protein, but I like to take creatine as well. Creatine helps with your muscle water retention. So it allows you to do more reps when you're working out. And this will lead to farther muscle growth if you're able to perform more volume output in the gym. Um, other than that, you know, you don't have to avoid carbs or anything like that. I don't know why some diets are weird about that. But just eat healthy. You know, there's no specific diet you have to take to reach most fitness goals. Most people can achieve a good body. Well, I mean, everybody can achieve a good body. You know, it just takes work. It just takes discipline. You know? Got this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you feel like it, and I'm out.